Hi there, with the release of Not21 of CaseGPT, we have some super exciting new features that I want to show you today, primarily around security scanning, but also data anonymization. So come and join me, I'll show you how it works and you can get started. The first thing you'll probably notice with uh, Not21 is that you have a new item in your available commands, which is integration. At time of shipping this feature, we've gone with Trivi as our initial integration. Trivi is the Aquasec security scanner that's very popular in the community, and it has some very rich custom resources that we integrate in to be our analyzers. So if you want to use this integration, what does it actually do? Well, this particular integration will install Trivi, trigger a run, and then scan the outcome of Trivi. So let's go ahead and activate that. So activate Trivi. That will go ahead and do all the bits that it needs to do in the cluster. This is configurable as well. So you can choose where it goes in your cluster. Once that configuration has been activated, you'll notice that something else happens as well. You now see within your filters, there is a new filter that has been set to defaulting on active. And that is the vulnerability report uh, filter. This comes from Trivi. So the way a, an integration really works is that you have the integration component in the code and then an analyzer that goes with that integration. And those are dormant for now. Eventually, those will go out of tree so we can have an ecosystem of people providing these integrations into Kate's GPT. So what's really cool about this is that now that Trivi's been installed, it's going to automatically start running a security scan that we can then start looking at vulnerability reports. Now, because I just don't want to you know, overwhelm people with reports that are meaningless, what we're going to do is inside our analyzer for Trivi is we make sure we only look at the really relevant uh, reports and feed those back to you. So let's set a filter on this nevertheless, although you can see it is my only active uh, filter at the moment. What's going to happen is the analyzer will look at the trivia status, generate reports, and pull out only the most critical vulnerabilities. So as you can see here, I've got a bunch of vulnerabilities which are all crits inside of my cluster. And each one of these is unique C uh, CVE. What you can also do is you can run the explain tooling on top of this. And what explain will do is explain will identify how you can triage these and which are the worst issues uh, within that in your cluster. So go ahead and check this out, especially when you're dealing with five or six critical CVEs, it can help identify which of those uh, are the most serious. And this is really where we're exfiltrating some of the CVE numbers back to the AI uh, and letting it do the parsing for us. So we've just covered the ability to add in the vulnerability report, um, add in the integration. The last thing I want to show you, which is really interesting as well, is this idea around anonymization. So to do that, what you'll see is if you go to Kate's GPT Analyze, there is a new flag uh, that's been introduced. This lets you anonymize it before it gets sent to the back end. Okay, so. Do you remember that data we just had a moment ago? So let's check it out. So we go back to the vulnerability report, explain. What it's going to do this time is it's actually going to take anything that might be unique to you, for example, the names of your stateful sets, um, particular data that might identify uh, your workloads directly. And what you would do in this scenario is you would run anonymize directly on that outcome. And that would make sure that Nothing that's being sent up uh, is going to identify you. And that's a that's a pretty quick uh, result right there. So just to kind of bring it all together, in Not21, we've really focused on the utility of security being brought into not just SRE personas, but also SecOps professionals who might want to use this tooling. On top of that, we're also really taking serious strides towards security and adding in masking of sensitive data. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a super short one. Please do like and subscribe, leave us feedback, and visit katesgpt.ai to get started. Thanks again. Bye-bye.